Good morning, everyone. We'd like to extend a special welcome to the students and teachers of Colby House and anyone else joining us this morning. We acknowledge this land as the traditional lands of the Ghana people and we respect and support their spiritual, physical, economical, mental and emotional relationship with their country. We also acknowledge the Ghana people as the custodians of the Adelaide region and that inherent cultural and spiritual beliefs continue to sustain the living Ghana people today. We've come together at this time to celebrate Eucharist, to attune ourselves to God, his son Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. With open hearts and minds, we'll listen to God's word and dwell in the presence of the Spirit so that we can in turn go forth and be living witnesses of God's good news, which will help build God's kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Today especially, we remember St. Maximilian Kolbe, our house patron, a great example of someone who was very much attuned to God, who lived a Christ-like life and sought strength from the Spirit to continue loving others even when it was hard. A great devotee of Mary, the mother of Jesus, he followed in Mary's footsteps of true selflessness of discipleship. St. John Paul II, during his time as the Pope of the Catholic Church from 1978 to 2005, declared St. Maximilian Kolbe to be the patron saint of our difficult century. He is the patron saint for those people with addictions, political prisoners, families, journalists, and pro-life movements. As we remember St. Maximilian Kolbe in this liturgy today, we are reminded through our readings of the type of attitude and trust in God we are to have if we are to be authentic witnesses of the good news of Jesus Christ. Please join in singing our gathering song. We begin this liturgy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And you are really the privileged ones of Cardine. You know why I say this? Because you have a wonderful house patron, Saint Maximilian Calby who offered his life for Jesus Christ and his mission. Therefore, let us spend a few moments in silence, exposing ourselves before the Lord and praying for forgiveness. As we prepare to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our weaknesses and ask God for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you have revealed yourself as the way of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
You have poured out on your people the spirit of truth. Christ have mercy. You are the good shepherd leading us to eternal life. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Renew in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you endowed St. Maximilian Colby, that filled with the same spirit, we may thirst for you, the soul found of true wisdom, and seek you, the author of heavenly love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, with your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace of God given to me, I say to everyone among you not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as is one body, we have many members, and not all the members have the same function. So we who are many are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy, uh, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, the exhorter in exhortation, the giver in generosity, the leader in diligence, the compassionate in cheerfulness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, happy the people the Lord has chosen to be, with his, to be his own. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. They are happy, whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen ad, as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in for man. The soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. To him our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. Please stand to welcome the gospel and join in the reciting of the gospel acclamation. Happy are they who suffer persecution for justice's sake. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you these things so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not understand what his master is doing. But I have called you friends because everything I have learned from my father 
I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. This is my command to you. Love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear beautiful friends, I'm pretty sure that you have learned a lot about Maximilian Kolbe, especially his life history in your RE lessons. But maybe to uh, have a refocus, I may explain the life history in a nutshell. Uh, Maximilian Kolbe was born in Poland in 1894, became a member of the Franciscan order as a teenager. Uh, 